Good day, everybody. It is currently the 12th of December, 2012, and, well, across northwest Pacific, things are relatively quiet, actually, into Mindanao, uh, where we saw the widespread destruction last week, and people are still picking up the pieces. Link down below to the Philippine Red Cross if you still want to donate. Uh, things are much, much quieter. Still some thunderstorm activity flaring up due to the northeast monsoon there in Visayas, and maybe even around Manila, but nothing too severe. Mainly, the biggest topic across the area is heavy storms snowfall looking into or and around Japan and Korea here did that see effect snow but uh, we'll get into that a little bit later on into the update first let's look all the way down here into the bottom right portion of your screen still technically the western Pacific but this is our tropical cyclone being dubbed 04P by the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center out here and uh, right now just lingering right near Samoa but it is expected to actually start to turn back towards the west and eventually impact Fiji as well so all these islands here might get a taste of uh, this early season tropical activity that we're starting to see spin up here around Samoa and then eventually off there uh, crossing the international date line towards the west. Um, this is just going to be a quick update. If you want further information, I do suggest going to allcyclonechasers.com. Um, I'm not sure if he's put out a video on this yet, but I'm sure once he does, it's going to be very, very in-depth. But right now, though, the storm system is relatively weak. If we take a look at the warning from the JTWC, Current winds are estimated using the Dvorak scale at about 35, gusting up to 45 knots, but what they expect is a gradual intensification, and uh, Samoa, actually, uh, you could be experiencing a typhoon equivalent of a tropical cyclone here going into the uh, 12th and then eventually into the 13th, so by the end of the week, uh, winds could be upwards around 70, gusting to 85 knots here on the one-minute wind scale, and then eventually they have it pulling back off there towards the southwest, uh, impacting uh, Fiji possibly with some of these outer rain bands. Still keeping it offshore, but a few of the models actually run it directly over the island. First, I want to show you what GFS is currently showing. And as we go through the next several days, it has the storm impacting a Samoa way off here towards the red portion of your screen. And then eventually it starts to pull back towards the west. Now, main reason behind that, we have a high pressure down here towards the south that's kind of acting like a blocking high. You can actually see the intertropical convergence zone bending around this high pressure. Well, the storm eventually is going to follow that troughing, but uh, before it does, it does look like it's going to eventually steer off there towards the west. And then once that high pressure starts to give, it will eventually work its way towards the east. But this is actually not until Wednesday of next week. So a whole week out, still a lot of time to continue to watch the storm system. But GFS really picking up on this bomb right out. But if we zoom in on the uh, Euro model here, you can see that going into Thursday early morning, uh, Samoa there, you're actually going to be seeing a rather decent wind field. And this is actually winds in the knots. And some areas here on the left and flank of the storm are going to be seeing upwards of about 35 to 40 uh, knot winds. So that's that tropical storm strength that they're expecting from the GTWC to intensify. And then eventually even gets a little bit tighter here as it spins up and moves off towards American Samoa. And then eventually uh, we see an eye developing on this storm system. Now let's take a look a little bit farther into Saturday uh, as it continues to push off there towards the southwest and this is when it eventually could be impacting Fiji. Now the news is that we still have a lot of time to watch this storm and it really is still into its development stage so it very well could not even reach that typhoon intensity or the uh, tropical cyclone a strong tropical cyclone intensity but we're still going to continue to watch it actually the Fiji Meteorological Agency still thinks that this is going to be a very low chance of development according to their webpage at this time but uh, much of the model outlooks really looking at it it is in an area of an abundant amount of moisture and also uh, wind shear is relatively low and not the mentioned sea surface temperatures across this area are in that hot bath water stage which provides a lot of fuel for source so we're still going to be watching this storm system uh, into the coming days but let's look back off towards where once again across the Philippines you are seeing that northeast monsoon impact of a size even into Min uh, Manila uh, you could be seeing some heavy rain showers even thunderstorm activity going through today as we see this line really just developing up across the South China Sea moving through the Philippines and then it does extend off there towards the narrow northern Marianas now north of this much colder air is being filtered in from the north and all these lines here that we're seeing come across the Sea of Japan that is still that heavy snowfall impacting you here 
uh, going through the next several days. And Thursday might taper off a little bit, but really expecting this to kick back up going into the weekend due to another low that will be working its way in from the And we'll take a look at that, but also I want to talk about uh, here into today, there was the rocket launch there in North Korea. A lot of people were paying attention to. Well, high pressure was dominating, very light wind, so it was the perfect weather for a rocket launch, but it does look like some of that debris fell even as far south just off the Philippine coast. So just one thing I want to note, weather is a big important role into uh, when they do this stuff and it does look like today was actually quite one of those days so uh, that is information for the future you really want to have that high pressure there but let's take a look into the next several days here this is going out into Friday we have that low pressure area developing moving across Korea and then eventually over towards Japan we get that uh, have next weather maker that's going to be moving through on Saturday morning uh, going through the afternoon hour so definitely going to be watching that but if we pull back the picture here not too much else going on especially down towards the tropics things are still remaining quiet this is going through the entire loop right there we have our storm system there on Saturday moving across Japan but uh, nothing really flaring up into the tropics and this is what you would expect to see into the mid part of December here outside of Bofa everything else is not really expected to flare up but we're definitely still gonna watch out across Northwest Pacific meanwhile keeping our eyes peeled uh, to tropical cyclone 04P forming up there around Samoa and Fiji thanks again for watching everybody stay safe out there if you have any questions or comments please post them into the comment box below though and as always you can follow us on facebook and twitter western pacific weather or follow me at robert spetta thanks for watching bye